Hello once again, Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. How'd you like to do an experiment with me? Well, what am I talking about? Well, today I was at the Home Depot and I came across this line of paint. Now this is bare paint. Here, let's... There we go. Bare paint. This is the same company that makes all those little, you know, paint swatches for doing the inside of your house and everything. They've come up with their own gloss enamel paint. And now check out this red. What does that remind you of? Well, take a look at this. Coca-Cola. Now, look at that. Look at how great that red color matches the Coca-Cola label. Hang on, let's see if I can get this right. There we go, look at that, isn't that cool? So this is my first time ever using bare paint. Normally I use Tremclad, but I wanted to try this out with all of you. And if it works really well, then that means, hang on, that we have found a great color for using on these AMT model kits, which are the Coca-Cola ones. Because again, like, look at how nicely this cap matches the Coke. It's almost like you can't even tell where the cap is versus the Coke. So let's try this experiment on plastic. I've got those little, you know, the oxyacetylene tanks come with the AMT 53 Ford. Well, I've got those, so I'm gonna tape it down. Now this stuff says that it uh, adheres to wood, metal, plastic, and more. How much more? No, I'd, <laughs> that'd be an experiment. I'm running around town with this thing going <laughs> on everything. No, anyway, um, indoor, outdoor use, corrosion resistant, enhanced adhesion, and advanced hide. Hide, H-I-D-E. And it does say that, where did I see that? Very flammable, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. I guess it was on one of the other cans. Oh, no. Paint and primer. So that means that we could just use this as a one shot without any, you know, painting gray or black primer on the plastic. So let's go outside and test this. So here we are outside and I've got our little oxyacetylene tanks taped down onto the cardboard box that I'm going to be spraying on. And I'm really excited to try out this paint. How about you? Let us know in the comments down below. Okay, let's begin with the paint job. Ooh, looking good. Wow, it really looks like Coca-Cola red on here. Mmm, smells good too. <laughs> Perhaps I should wear a mask. And now have a look at that. Boy, that looks really good. Probably not the right colors for this, but hey, this is just a practice. Now we just have to let the paint dry and then we'll check out the results. Here we have our oxyacetylene cylinders after I painted them with the red bare paint. And I really like the vibrancy of this color on here. I think it's really excellent. Now on closer inspection, I've noticed there's a couple little pin pricks in between here, but I did lay on the paint pretty thick in here and I noticed after I spray painted it, it was starting to pool a little bit. But as you can see, after it's dried a bit, it has actually sucked into the bands, which is really, really nice. Now, if I can just turn this to the side, I also noticed that you can see the sand scratches up into here on the cylinder sides. That's where the glue joint was and I used a pretty uh, aggressive file in there just in order to, uh, you know, file that seam line down. So I don't know how close I can get here. I'm keeping these on the, uh, <laughs> the cardboard because I haven't put a second coat on here. This is just the first coat. Now I need to wait about 24 hours or longer in order for this to be hard enough for me to uh, attempt to wet sand possibly and spray the second coat. But you know what? These are just oxyacetylene cylinders so I think I'm just going to end up leaving them just with the single coat. Now the taller bottle will have to be painted with a green or something like that. But this was just to, uh, you know, test out what this paint was like. Also, the gauges will have to be painted with the uh, copper or the brass colors. 
But you know what I mean. This is just the experiment. And I think it turned out really, really nicely. So I would give this paint a try on my bigger models. Also, I'm hoping that uh, when this all hardens up, I'll be able to sand this with the finer sandpaper just to, you know, fill in those cracks a little bit and give it a second coat. But that is for another video. In the meantime, I really do enjoy this. I like the sheen and the luster that we're getting out of this bare paint, and I would recommend this for future models. But you might think differently. I don't know if you have tried this. Let us know down in the comment section below if you enjoy the bare paint or you think there's better stuff on the market. Well, I hope you enjoyed my product review of the Bear Spray Paint, which is new to the market from our good friends at Home Depot. Now, what I like about this is that it gives us some more color choices and variations for our hobby, especially there's a lot of cool reds and yellows and blues, teals, sea foam colors, and other great things. And what the uh, paint specialist at Home Hardware told me is that they want to make a spray paint for every color chip on their regular indoor paint wall. So that's really, really cool. If you've ever been to the Home Depot, you've seen exactly how many billions of colors they have there. So if we had a spray paint for every one of those, I'm sure that our model car hobby would really, really be colorful. <laughs> So if you've used this product in the past, let us know down in the comment section below how you like it, how you think it stacks up against some of the other spray paints out there from like Tremclad and Rust-Oleum and everybody else. And always remember that there is something new for you. So until next time, everybody, happy model building, and we'll see you in the next video.